What's going on YouTube? My name is Jeans, back doing some ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Shield. You guys know the deal. If you are enjoying the content, make sure you show it by smashing that like button, clicking that subscribe button, and let me know in the comment section down below. Seriously, the support, I cannot say it enough, has been amazing. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed to the channel, liked the videos, and it was just swing by and watch it. It seriously goes a long way. So guys, in today's video, we are rocking out with another rain team, but dude, this rain team looks sick. It has a sleeper pick of Lunatone in there who I like never use. It came out in uh, I think Gen 3 and I just never really use them in any of the games. But this team is rocking them so I'm hyped to use them. We're rocking out with that Pelipper. You cannot have a rain team without your boy Palupa right here. I call him Palupa. I like that name. Kind of funny. He's rocking the damp rocks to the rain. I think last is another two turns. Two or three turns. So it goes from five to seven turns or eight turns. Whichever one it is. He's rocking Hurricane, Scald, Tailwind, the boost of speed. Even in the rain like the Swift Swim Pokemon will be the boost. Their speed will be unreal and protect as a good move to kind of dodge up some attacks, eat them up, and all that good stuff. Then we got my boy Barathorn rocking that Quick Claw and Iron Barbs to act as a Rocky Helmet with Poison Jab, Iron Head, Power Whip, and Gyro Ball. This thing is just all-out attack. He's not like his Leech Seed and all that or his Protect. He's just all-out attack with four attack moves, so let's get it. We got Lunatone right here, which is our special attacker for this team. He is going to be our sleeper pick. He is going to be our sleeper pick. I feel like no one's going to expect it. He's choice specs with Power Gem, Shadow Ball, Psychic, and Moon Blast with Psychic and Power Gem as its stab moves. No one's going to really expect it. He's going to be nasty. He's going to do some work. And he's also rocking Levitate, so he cannot get hit by this ground moves. Then we got my boy Seismitoad with that Swift Swim, which doubles his speed in the rain with Ice Punch, EQ, Liquidation, and Poison Jab. He has that Life Orb. Damage is going to be through the roof with him. I cannot wait to use him and all that good stuff. Then we got my boy Rotom Pizza Oven. This guy, I love him. So versatile. Very good on all teams. The Rotoms are just so good in the online battles. Rock and Thunder, Shadow Ball for Stab, Overheat, and Bolt Switch. Then we got Ludicolo. You cannot have a ring team without Ludicolo. He's rocking the Salt Vest so we can soak up some more special attacks with Fake Out to get us started. Muddy Water to double hit. Ice Beam and Energy Ball. But guys, if you'd like to rent this team for yourself, use the rental code at the bottom of the screen. And if you do use it, let me know how you do with it and how you like it. Also, guys, let me know for question of the day. Who do you guys think is one of the most underrated Pokemon? Because there are tons of, like, sleeper picks and all that. Like, speaking of Lunatone, he could be an underrated pick in today's video. But I think Clefable is very underrated. I feel like he's so strong, he or she, whichever form you get. But <laughs> I feel like they're so strong and can do work. But without further ado, let's get going with this rain team. I really love rain teams. Like, rain teams are just awesome. If you get the rain set up, it's like GG. And if they can't handle it, oh my god. I just love using I love using Pelper for some reason. I just love his style. I love how he looks. And I just love how he plays. Like, I don't know why. Just Pelper is my boy, Palooper, right there. <laughs> this guy's rocking extra drill. Inteleon, Gengar, Titar, Whimsicott, and that Cinderance. I can definitely see him leading either that extra drill or that uh, Titar with the Whimsicott. Or maybe the Inteleon to set up screens. But we're going to go straight into Pelper here. We're going to go Pelipper, and um, is he more physical attacking, or is he special attacking? Mm. Well, since I see him going in with that extra drill and T-Tar, I'm definitely going to be rolling out with our, what's it called? With our Seismitoad here. I'm going to go Seismitoad Life Orb, or do I go into something else? No, I said we bring Pelipper, Seismitoad, have Ludicolo in that back end, and then we roll out with Lunatone once again. I think Lunatone will do some work here. We're going to get rolling strong with this rain squad, and going with my boy Lunatone. Choice spec. He's choice spec. He's gonna be able to do some work, some absolute damage off on this team. I seriously think he's gonna lead that Whimsicott. Try to set up a Tailwind. We're gonna match his Tailwind with our Tailwind, and then our Swift Swim will just roll out beautifully. Um, who else? Who is he gonna lead? I can see him potentially leading that Inteleon too. That would be smart. But our Seismitoad has such a wide variety of move sets here. He can do some work on Inteleon. But guys, as always, if you want to catch more content from me, head to the link in the description below, Jeans25 on Twitch. We stream four plus days every single week. We're pushing Master Ball tier in doubles. Since we already did it in singles, and then we're just going to be pushing the rank ladder. Also, guys, I forget what I was going to say. <laughs> I feel like I had something in mind. Oh, I got it. I got it. Like, I just drew a blank. I was like, also, guys, just like kind of stare a little bit. Oh, 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 no. But if you want me to use your guys' rental teams, leave me in the comment section down below. I always check them out, but make sure you tell me if it's a singles or doubles team with the code and leave a list of the Pokemon. Make it easy for me. Make it easy for me. But it goes into the Inteleon and the Wimscott. We're going to set up a Tailwind here. And then I think we're just going to go straight into a, a Poison Jab here. I think Poison Jab is the call. Where do we go for an EQ? EQ can double up, but it's not very effective. Mm. We go into a Poison Jab here. Nah. Nice punch. I say we just go EQ here. Knock off the Sash on the Whimsicott and do some damage to that Inteleon. Let's roll with it. Let's roll with it. As we are Life Orb 2, we will go first. We will go first. I don't know if my Pelipper outspeeds my Swift Swim, Seismitoad. He's probably going to try to set up screens. Probably going to go for a Reflect early on into the Tailwind. What else? What else is he going to do? 
I think that's like his only option. I think he's gonna go screen tailwind. That's really all I see him. I don't see him Dynamaxing either of these Pokemon, because either of these Pokemon are not too good in the Oh my okay, I was gonna say, did it miss? Because it doesn't affect Pelber. But yeah, neither of them are good, really good Dynamax Pokemon. Doesn't work to the tally. We're gonna take that sash off that Whimscot, because I believe it is Focus Sash. I believe it is Focus Sash. He's gonna go for a snipe shot on who? On who? Who are you going for a snipe shot on? My toad. Wow. Wow. That did some damage. That did some damage. That is nuts. That is nuts. We're gonna get this tailwind up. And we're going to be able to outspeed both this Pokemon, I think, in this Tailwind. And I think we're going to double up and take them both out. But wow, I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that Snipe Shot to take him out. That is nuts. Does it do more damage under cir certain circumstances? I get it. I get that it's rain. But it's not very effective and it just murked on me. We're going to roll out into a Hurricane over on him. And then we're just going to roll out into a uh, Energy Ball over on the Italian. I can see him definitely swapping out. But it's fine. It's fine here. We got the Tailwind set up. We have the Swift, the swift Swim. All right, just like a little throat. Throat issue there. But yeah, we got the Swift Swim. But what is Ludicolo? Is he a duck? He has a bill. Like, what is Ludicolo? I just looked at his bill. I was like, is he a duck? What is this thing? Well, that's cool. I love his hat. It reminds me of the uh, taco hat from Despicable Me. If you guys know what I'm talking about, it's like the guacamole hat. He's going to send a Tailwind. Probably outspeed us now. Oh, well, at least our Pelipper. At least our Pelipper here. Oh, yeah. He's dead. Italian's gone. I forgot about that. I was going to say, his Italian should have to be my Pelipper, but he's dead. He's gone. Hurricane's going to pop out here and take out that Whimsicott. See you later, Whims. See you later, buddy. All right, let's go. We're rocking out here, dude. Rain team, I don't know what my favorite weather team is because that hail team was a lot of fun to use, but rain is just so cool. I love Pelipper. I feel like he's so slept on. I feel like people who don't really like know the competitive field of Pokemon are just like, oh, it's just Pelipper. Like, that's Wingle's second stage. Why would I use him? He's a beast. That's why. He's going to pop out with his Gengar. We are going to Dynamax. Our Ludicolo, and we're gonna go in on it. We're gonna go in on it. I feel like we got this match pretty settled in. We're gonna go for a Scald over on the right side, and then we're gonna roll into a Dynamax. We go into Ice Beam, Max Hailstorm. I wanna go Stab. Yeah, we're gonna go Stab in the rain. Max guys are over on the Gengar. That's the plan. That is the plan. Because we gotta get that Gengar out of the way. The thing is a truck. I can see him potentially trying to Nancy plot up right here. Because I know his Cinderace will probably eat up a Scald, no problem. Maybe not, because it's in the rain. But, dude, the damp rock is just leaving this rain out to set. This guy hasn't even tried changing the weather yet. He hasn't even tried changing it, dude. The damp rock rocks out here. Pretty cool. Damp rock rocks. Well, it does. It rocks. <laughs> Let's see. What are you doing, buddy? He's. I'm going to Dynamax. I think he's going to Dynamax, too. But my Ludicolo goes first. You can say, buy that Gengar unless it's Sash. <laughs> unless that Gengar is Sash, it is probably gone. And we're not even going to be able to probably show off that Lunatone in this uh, battle here. But I definitely want to show it off, dude. That Lunatone... Looks sick. Looks like he can do some absolute work. Looks like he can do some absolute work. Let's go. See you later. Gargar. -gar. Oh, no. Who's he Dynamaxing? Who's he Dynamaxing? I see that Gar gone. We are Assault Vested, so that Gar isn't going to take out my Ludicolo in one shot. He's going to Dynamax the Gar. The Gar is coming out here. If he didn't Dynamax it, we were taking it out in one shot. We still might be able to. We still might be able to. Let's see how we roll out here. Come on, Ludicolo. Do it, baby. Do it. The Ludicolo will go first with that Swift Swim. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Just amazing Swift Swim. Built. How much damage we know? <laughs> oh, is this thing sashed? Is this thing sashed? That thing's not even sashed. That thing is not even sashed. And they get a crit on me. That thing ended on one. Max Lightning pops out. All my paloops. All my poops. You are going to be able to see the Lunatone. The Lunatone is going to pop out here. That's fine. That's fine. We will be able to take out the Gar here. No problem. Gar is going to be gone. We're going to go after it right off the bat. Or is he going to take out my... Is he going to take out my Paloops? Or not my Paloops. My Ludicolo? No, he's not. He's not. He, oh, he just used Max Lightning. And the Pyro Ball came in. Okay, Loon Tune's going to go here. Uh, we are going to take out that... What's it called? We are going to take out the Gengar with the Ludicolo. Ludicolo will go first. Surprised he didn't change the weather. Let's see how long the rain lasts. It lasts eight turns. We still have five more turns with this thing. That is nuts. And we have one more turn with the Tailwind, which is huge. So maybe my... Uh, what's it called? Can go first. Is Power Gem super effective? Oh, yes. Choice Spec, Power Gem, and Stab. That's Night Night for him. And we're just going to go into a Max Geyser here. I can see him going into a Max Guard. That would be the smart play, but I still don't see you outspeeding us. Even with that Tailwind and that Swift Sun. He should go into a Max Guard. That would be a smart play. Max Guard into the Gengar. I can see it, but I do not see this guy 
beating us with our Moon Rock guy. He does not guard. He does not guard, and his Gengar does go down to this Max Geyser. Look at that. Bill, how do you survive on 1 HP? Like, that is legit 1 HP, and he's not even Sash. Look at that. Crit, because we needed that crit to kill him. That's why. Thank God we got the crit. <laughs> he was on 1 HP. I could have hit him with any Pokemon. A level 1 Turtwig would have took him out. Fireball's going to pop out here. We avoided the attack and power gem should wrap this up. Super effective stab with the specs. Bill, woo we let's go, let's go. Lunatone shreds. He shreds with that choice spec. Dude, what a way to start off this video. Get rocking out with this rain tune and show off Lunatone and do some work. Do I go with that rain squad again? I'm thinking maybe this guy's rocking a trick room team with Salazzle, Hatterene, Draco Fish, Excadrill, Grimstar, and. That Rotom watch. I can see him leading that Grimstar and the Hatterene trying to set up that Trick Room. I kind of want to go same thing. I kind of want to go Pelipper into Seismitoad, but I might go Pelipper into Ludicolo, bring Seismitoad and Lunatone in the back. I think that could be a good call. If we get that Tailwind set up, we can start doing some work. Um, hmm, let me think a little bit more. Lightning really doesn't do anything against this team. Grass does, so I think I'm going to lead the Ludicolo in case he leads that Rotom Wash. I see him leading the Grimmsnarl and Hatterene, but definitely the Grimmsnarl in either situations. I think he's leading the Grimmsnarl and Rotom or Grimmsnarl and Hatterene. So Lazlo, I think he's going to keep out because that's water. He's going to be bringing that fish maybe. Maybe, maybe not. He's definitely bringing that drill. I think he's going Hatterene, Grimmsnarl, Drill, and Wash. I think that is his play call. Like, I want to lead the, what's it called? I definitely want to lead... The Ludicolo, because I see the Ludicolo Swift swimming faster than that Rotom if he does lead the uh, lead the Rotom. So if he does lead that, we should outspeed and get a uh, Energy Ball and probably one tap that thing. Let's probably take it out in one shot. Like I did want to go for that Seismitoad if he goes into that Rotom because he can't hit us with an Electric Move, but he's just gonna go after my Pelipper at that point. Let's see, let's see what happens. Let's see how we're gonna roll out here. I definitely want to get a Tailwind though. But do we even need a Tailwind? Extra and Draco Fish get the lead. Wow. Two Pokemon that I didn't even expect getting the lead. I thought he was going to try to roll out with that Trick Room on that Hatterene. He's going to try to go into a Fish's Ren. We should be able to outspeed. Like, we should be able to outspeed. I might go straight into a Dynamax and try to take out this uh, Draco Fish. That Draco Fish can be trouble in the rain. He can be troublesome in the rain. Let me go here. And we're going to fake out. We are actually going to fake out on that Draco Fish. Do we fake out on that Draco Fish? I don't see him Dynamax. Yeah, I can actually see him Dynamaxing. Do we go for a Muddy Water instead? This is tough. This is tough because it's not very effective. I can't go for an Ice Beam. It is effective. Energy Ball is Stab over on the Draco Fish. I need that Draco Fish out of here. I know he's probably Dynamaxing. He is not. I thought he was going Dynamaxing Max Rock Fall to take off the, uh, what's it called? I thought he was trying to take off the, the rain. But that's fine by me. Ooh, Poison Jab comes out and just shreds me. It just shreds me, which I'm fine with. I am really fine with. Draco Fish is probably going to go with a Rock Slide. Yep. I thought he was going to go for a Fish's Strand. We will eat that up. Our Tailwind is going to come out here. And we will be able to take out that Draco Fish, no problem. He gets a crit. Yo, you lucky biscuit. Thank God we did not flinch. But the Tailwind comes out here. Tailwind comes out. Okay. We got to go into the Toad here. Toad will do some work with an EQ. EQ should bring that thing down to Focus Sash level. So what's it called? Should bring down the... Extra, I think it's Focus Ash into its Focus Ash. It should take out the Draco Fish too. And we should just be able to go. Do we Scald with Stab or Hurricane? Hurricane Stab will do a little bit more here. And then EQ comes out here. We should outspeed all of these uh, guys. We should outspeed them all. Because if the EQ takes out the Draco Fish, then the uh, Hurricane slides over to the Extra Drill. And if the Extra Drill is Sash, it will take it out. So we're sitting fine. We got my boy Toad out here. We got Blue Toad from Mario. That's what we're going to call him. Imagine if, if the Toads look like this. That'd be hilarious. Does affect Pelipper. We get both of the Pokemon in on this. Beep. Yes. Let's go. Double kill. Double kill. You love to see it. Okay, so we get the double kill. That thing was not Sash. Blue Toad from Mario takes them to school. Takes them to school. I want to get that Lunatone out here. But he's probably going to go after my, uh, what's it called? My Paloops. My Paloopers. <laughs> I love calling them that. We got Toad and Palooper out. <laughs> I love his head shape. I don't even know what it looks like, but I just love the shape of it. But he's going to go into it. Ooh. We shiny Salazzle. Why are you bringing the Salazzle? That's my question. Unless this thing ha does it have that ability where it soaks up water shots? Does it have that ability? So there's the Hatterene. Isn't poison super effective? That thing. I'm gonna just go into a Skull and test this out. I'm gonna go into yeah. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh my lord. That does absolute work. Did we just double tap here? <laughs> Did we just double tap? Do I EQ or do I just take out that thing? I'm gonna EQ. I'm going to EQ here, and I'm going to save my specs, or my Dynamax here. He's going to Dynamax his Hatterene, 
I think it's gonna be Hatterene, unless it's a Salazzle. I'd be surprised to see a Salazzle. But jeez, man, you going into Salazzle? Okay, yep, Hatterene. Is that a job? Ooh, baby. We got a G Max Hatterene, which is a slow cookie. It's a slow cookie, but it's gonna hit like a truck. It's going to hit like a truck. I can see that Salazzle going after my Pelper and the Hatterene going after my. What's it called? Hatterene going after my Toad. Double damage here. Built. See you later, Salazzle. <laughs> Salazzle gone. Salazzle is gone, dude. We are rocking out with this rain team. It's just so strong. Once you get the rain set up with that damp rock, they're not taking out. Show me the burn. Give me the burn. Bernie Sanders comes out from the presidential election to come to this game and give the burn here. Feel it. Feel the burn, baby. <laughs> Max Overgirth comes here, takes out our toad. We're chilling. We are chilling. We will outspeed this thing all day long. All day long with the tailwind. And we'll just have our Lunatone come in here. Specs a move. I think we can take it out one shot with the Specs move. Let's see. I think he has a uh, Psychic's not super effective to it, but Power Gem should be able to do some work. What did he just go with? Oh, leftovers. I was gonna say, what is he rocking? I was like, we did not trigger a weakness policy in this thing. There's no way it's rocking weakness spot. Let's go into the Lunatone. Super effective Shadow Ball, but that's not stab. That is not stab. Do we still go for it? I think super effective will be better than uh, stab Power Gem. Let me see the base powers. Let me see the base powers. I oh, know we're gonna go for a well, hurricane do more it will do more but we might not even get it off I'm gonna protect watch this watch me protect no no I don't think he's going I think he's going for my lunatone I really do think he's going for my lunatone we're gonna go for a hurricane here and then we're gonna go for a shadow ball is 80 this is also 80 with stab but super effective I think super effective does more than a stab move, right right I think stab is I think they mo might both be the same Let's see, Shadow Ball pops out. Yeet. Do some work. Do some work. Pelper, land this. Land this and end it. Let oh, no. Okay, well, no, we win anyway. You can't double kill us. I was going to say, I was like, let's go. And I was like, no. But a Looney Toad eats that shot up. No problem from that G-Max hat arena. And the burn's going to take him out. Feel the burn, baby. Feel it. Feel it. Dude, Looney Toad coming up strong. Dude, he hits like a truck. Actually, burn will not come in because the leftovers and the, what's it called, comes in first. The leftovers and the, the max overgrowth heals up first, and then the burn comes in. So we have to wait just another turn. Tailwind does peter out. But this thing is one of the slowest Pokemon in the game. So we're chilling. Oh, we're respecting the Shadow Ball. It's fine. I was good. No, I don't want to hit Power Gem. It's fine. It's fine. I just want to go through a Power Gem at the end. Yeah, Hatterene is one of the slowest Pokemon on the board. So at mo like, I think like almost every Pokemon outspeeds that thing. That's why it is so good in Trick Room, and that's why I thought he was going to run a Trick Room with it. Let's go, dude. Another match in the bag, dude. We just gave him that GG can. We took it off the shelf, opened it up, poured it on him, threw it over there, which is dope, which is dope. We get our second win, and we can hop into another battle. This guy's rocking a team that kind of looks like the Gen 1 team that we use. If you didn't check out that video, get on that. Go check it out. Hit that like button, all that good stuff. This guy's rocking Charizard. Gyarados, Machamp, Gengar, Snorlax. I can see a Belly Jump Strong, potentially, and a Corviknight, and a Corviknight. Rain should work out pretty well here. Pelipper could take the front spot for sure. We go Pelipper into... I'm definitely bringing my Lunatone. I don't think I want to bring all my Rain dudes. I don't think I want to bring all my Rain dudes. I think we're just going to go Pelipper Seismitoad. Hmm. What is the call here? What is the call? Pelipper Seismitoad. We can go Pelipper into Rotom right here. Because I, I don't think Lightning or Thunder misses in Rain. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. So let's go that. Try to throw him a curveball here. We can bring Lunatone in the back. And then the third and final spot. Who's going to take it? Like, I want to bring that Ferrothorn, but he doesn't do too, too, too much work. Um, Doesn't have a grass type. I mean, that Gyarados could be Power Whipped. He could be Power Whipped. Uh, but I do see the... I do see the size of have more value in this battle. than the... Actually, is he a lot of special attack? No, he's... It's uh, more physical, but... But he's probably bringing that Gengar and Charizard. But I'm going to be bringing out the Seismic Toad. I'm going to be bringing the Toad out into this battle. But we're throwing him a curveball. We're going to set the rain. I'm pretty sure Thunder does not miss unless it is. I mean, if it's in the rain, I'm pretty sure it's 100% accuracy. I'm pretty sure it is. I remember somebody throwing a comment at me when I was using the Raichu. Just slamming Thunders in the rain. But he's going to go Charizard Gengar. We should be able to outspeed and take out this Charizard right off the Rippo. Right off the Rippo. We are spec or a uh, scarf. We are scarf. Grizzle comes out. Um, we're gonna set up the, the wind of the tails. We're gonna set up the tails of the wind. Do I Dyna is the real question. I can see him potentially art swapping. 
I'm just gonna go into a stab thunder. Over on this Charizard. Let's see. Did we take out the Charizard one shot? I can see him G Maxing here. I can see him G Maxing. Let's go. Let's go. What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? He is gonna potentially G Max. He's Dynamaxing. Is it a G Max Pokemon? Charizard or the Gengar? I can't really see who he's going for here. Maybe the Charizard trying to eat up a shot. The G Max Charizard pops out. Beautiful shiny. It looks like he has an egg on his belly. Somebody said that in my stream, and now I cannot unsee it. It looks like he has an egg on his belly, but it looks so cool. It looks so cool. Let me know what you guys think of the new G Max forms. Like the, uh, let's see how much damage we do. Oh, that's a heaping amount. We will have to be next turn, so all we gotta do is eat, because the tailwind's gonna pop out here. The gonna pop out here. Our sash is gonna trigger, which is nice. Wait, wait. Oh no, we're damp rock. I'm so used to running a what's it called? A focus sash Pelipper. G Max Wildfire is gonna pop out here. We should be able to eat that up, right? Yeah. Okay. We don't get the tailwind, but I know my scarf will outspeed that and we'll be able to take it out. We are surrounded. We are surrounded by fire. That's kind of like a tailwind is in here. Do we go with the toad? Or do we save the toad for later? I kind of want to go into my tone here. My lunatone. Dude, look at all of that. We're going into our lunatone here. Look at all the super effective in there. We're going to go specs and scarf back to back. My what's called will outspeed everybody. My Rotom. We'll take out this Charizard. No problem. And I think Psychic. Is it Psychic the call? Yes. Yeah, stab Psychic onto the Gengar. Let's get it. Let's get it. Thunder will not miss. See you later, Charizard. Now we're rocking out with this team. And we still have Verdina. And we still have Verdina. Yo, Thunder. Yeah. See you later, Charizard. G-Max Charizard gone. Take your eggs somewhere else, buddy. Take your eggs somewhere else. But like I was saying, I'm so used to running Focus Sash on the Pelipper. The Damp Rock is so nice, though, that he turns. If he doesn't change the weather, it's just going to be here all day. Shadow Ball pops out. You have to be my Luna? Okay. That's fine. Eat up, Luna. My boy, dude, Lunatone's gonna take this thing out one shot. Let's go, Lunatone. Look, he did like a little backflip. Boop! <laughs> he did like a little backflip. Okay, he is Sash, but I'll just have my Rotom come in and Thunder, I think. Oh, the Wildfire comes in. Oh, puts us on one. Puts us on one. That is nuts. That is nuts. Puts us on one HP. Okay, so his Charizard's gone. And my Pelipper's gone. My Lunatone's kind of gone. Hopefully my Lunatone... My Lunatone can outspeed that Snorlax. Okay, so we're going to outspeed. I'm saving my Dynamax for my Toad. Definitely saving it for my Toad. Psychic's going to pop out here. And then he's going to outspeed with this Choice Scarf Thunder and take out the Gengar. No prob. Then we're going to do some damage on the Snorlax before my Lunatone goes out. Because I can see him just hit my Lunatone. So I have his Thunder. Yeah, yeet. I think he's waiting for me to miss, but we're in the rain. We don't miss. We don't miss. See you later, Gengar. Bye-bye. Look at Lunatone. Watch him do his back click. It is actually adorable. Oh, look at it. Ready? Lunatone, do it. Yeet. <laughs> Does the back flip. Does some decent amount of damage there. And the EQ's gonna pop out. What in the world was that move? What in the world was that move? We're both levitating. You can just look at these Pokemon and see that they're off the ground. <laughs> You can just see that they're off the ground. What in God's green earth was that? What was that? That is just nuts. That is just pretty nuts. Machamp pops out here. Green Machamp. Shiny. Like, what was that? Might have been the worst play i ever seen in a Pokemon battle. Like, what was that? Max guys is going to pop out. Stab on you. Thunder is going to pop out on this Snorlax. Reason why I am going after the Snorlax with my Rotom is because Snorlax is a defensive Pokemon, not a special defensive Pokemon. So we will do more damage with the Stab Thunder into the Snorlax than a Max Geyser Stab in the rain on that uh, Snorlax. But this should be able to take out that Machamp. This should we should be able to take out the Machamp. This thing Stab in the rain right on the Machamp. If it was super effective, that would have been domination. That would have been amazing damage. I wish there would be like a little tick number that would show you how much damage you would do. Yep, but Chant goes down. But I wish there was a tick number that could show you how much damage you would have done if they had more health. Like the total amount of damage we would have done there. And we were life form. And we were life form. Like instead of just taking them all out, like say, like, oh, that could have done 700 damage. Like I would just love to see how much. But there we go. Nice damage on that Thunder. He's going to bring out his I Papa. The I Papa. Or his Figgy. What are you rocking? The Figgy comes out. Okay, Figgy Berry does come out here. Body Slam is going to come on my Rotom. Rotom will eat. Nom, 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 nom. Pretty tasty. Not going to lie. And the G-Max Wildfire is still ticking off on my... On my Toad. On my Toad. But we will outspeed. Max Geyser is going to pop out here. Stab in the rain. 
And then Thunder will take this out. GG, baby, this team. This team, let's go, dude. I love Lunatone. I thought Lunatone was awesome in this battle. Or just like on this team. I just love him. With that choice spec, something different. And he does this little cute back foot, which I love. Really do like the cute little back foot. Here goes to Max Geyser. Yeah, yeet. Blue Toad coming out here. Why? Wow, that's like Max Hydro Cannon right there. Or Hydro Pump. Hydro Cannon's like Hydro Pump on steroids. And then Max Geyser's like Hydro Cannon on steroids. But there we go. GG. Let's get it. Let's go. That is how you rock out with this team. Okay, so I used a few rain teams in the past, but this team right here has been my favorite rain team ha that I've used so far. I'm not saying it is the best one I use. I think the Gardevoir one that I used a little bit back is better than this one, but this one is just so much fun with that Choice Specs Lunatone. Like, I love it. I love the Damp Rock, too. They get that rain going for eight turns. It's just like an all-match thing if they don't take out the rain. It is just there for the whole thing. You also have this Ferrothorn that is rocking a totally different moveset with the Quick Call. I really like that. And same thing with that Rotom. Rotom's cool. Toad's awesome. Same thing with the Ludicall. They're just normal rain Pokemon. But guys, if you'd like to use this team for yourself, the code is at the bottom of the screen. Definitely use it up. If you do use it, let me know how you do with it. Also, if you have any questions about the team, send them my way. I'll definitely answer some questions. I love talking to you guys. I love hearing the feedback and all that good stuff. Also, let me know for question of the day, what Pokemon do you think is underrated? I would love to hear your guys' feedback on that because, I don't know, I just, like, I just like talking to you guys. I like seeing all the comments, all that good stuff. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Join the crew. We are grown. We are past 600 subs. Cannot thank you guys enough. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.